Hello everyone, today I'm taking on the role of an archaeologist and explorer as I delve into the story of the city of Babylon, which met its demise at the beginning of our era. Discover Fascinating Babylon Located about 90 kilometers from Baghdad, the modern capital of Iraq, Babylon was a thriving megacity with a peak population of 200,000. An impressive feat in its time, and still substantial by today's standards. Its colossal size enchanted the ancient world. According to Herodotus, Babylon had the shape of a massive rectangle, with each side measuring 22 kilometers. If true, its total area would have been 440 square kilometers, comparable to the modern American city of Denver in Colorado. Unravel the mysteries of this ancient wonder and its impact on history. Hammurabi, Legacy and Law in Ancient Babylon Unveiling the legendary ruler of Babylon, King Hammurabi from the First Babylonian Dynasty, reigned remarkably from 1793 to 1750 BCE. His monumental achievement, Hammurabi's Code, stands as the world's oldest known legal codification, echoing through history. Etched on stone pillars over two meters tall, these laws adorned various regions of the Babylonian Empire. Hammurabi's conviction in their lasting impact was unwavering, promising perpetual prosperity to the people, with stern punishment from the father of the gods, Anu, for those who dared to defy or alter them. In the heart of Babylon, physicians commanded immense respect, yet their path was arduous. A wrong diagnosis led to the severe penalty of losing a hand. Thus, when faced with insurmountable ailments, some doctors chose to abstain from treatment. Embracing magical and ritual rites, Babylonian medicine delved into the mystical realm, paving the way for ancient healing practices. Echoes of Ancient Wonders, Sumerians to Semiramis In the annals of history, the Sumerians left their mark on clay tablets, etching their writings with wooden sticks. The malleable clay allowed them to effortlessly rectify errors in the text. However, it wasn't until the 19th century that the German philologist Grotefend made groundbreaking strides in deciphering the enigmatic ancient Sumerian script. Fast forward to the 4th century BCE, and Babylon fell under the sway of the formidable Alexander the Great. Astonishingly, the city surrendered peacefully, embracing Alexander as a triumphant hero. In a gesture of magnanimity, he decreed the city to remain unharmed, even overseeing the restoration of previously ruined temples. Babylon now stood as the epicenter of Alexander's Asian realm and marked the poignant spot where his life's journey concluded in 323 BCE. Among the legendary wonders of the ancient world stands the enigmatic hanging gardens of Semiramis, a subject of both fascination and skepticism among scholars. Several ancient authors extol their splendor, yet certain historians question their very existence. One legend holds that these breathtaking gardens were a gift from the Babylonian ruler Nebuchadnezzar II to his wife Amidas. Hailing from Media, Amidas pined for the lush greenery of her homeland, which was scarce in Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar, in an act of profound love, conceived these gardens to delight her heart. Named after the fabled queen Semiramis, who reigned centuries before, these gardens continue to captivate our imagination across the ages. Exploring the Legendary Tower of Babylon Unveiling the Legendary Tower of Babylon As the Bible narrates, the people of Babylon aspired to construct a tower to reach the heavens. In divine retribution, God confounded their language, causing them to lose mutual understanding. Meanwhile, in Mesopotamia, magnificent ziggurats adorned the landscape. These towering structures held religious significance and served as observatories for celestial studies. The tallest ziggurat, soaring 90 meters high, captured the imagination of many travelers who mistakenly believed it to be the renowned Tower of Babylon. The true location of Babylon remained elusive for ages until the late 19th century. Enter Robert Koldewey, the eminent German archaeologist and architectural historian who embarked on extensive excavations in this storied land. With five years of funding, an extensive team of archaeologists and laborers, and an impressive budget of half a million marks, the expedition lasted for 18 years. It culminated in 1917, coinciding with the British forces' arrival in Baghdad. Coldway's dedication knew no bounds, as he visited his homeland only thrice during this extended endeavor. Post-completion, he assumed the prestigious role of Director of External Relations at the Berlin Museum. His relentless pursuit unraveled the ancient secrets of Babylon, 
and enrich the world's historical knowledge. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if you want to hear new stories.